Yo, what's going on everybody? Tristan here, and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is for all my manual users or my botters here, we're going to be discussing the Military Jordan 4 and how you can get your hands on the sneaker. I'm sure I'm going to be getting my hands on a couple pairs. So obviously we got a few drops we're waiting on, you know, we're waiting on the results of the Ama Manier 2 drop, a few other things, but this one, honestly, let's set everything aside. Let's just focus on this for now because this is going to be the biggest drop and best sneaker investment of May 2022, hands down easily the one you can make the most money off in the future or just right now if you're trying to get a quick flip you need some money this is the one so again you can check any of my instagrams any of that on the screen y'all been showing some amazing support the last few days so i'm gonna keep going hard keep posting every day that's my goal this summer i really want to post every day and just stay consistent with it so i'm gonna try my hardest uh to get like as close as i can to posting every day or having a video out so that's the goal and uh yeah for likes i don't really care but you know what's trying to like let's say like 300 likes let's see if you can do that since i put some time in on this video y'all gonna see that clearly uh, that i spent some time setting this up so i'd appreciate it just lets me know you want more content like this so that's all i gotta say i'll keep it short and simple and let's get started right here. So discussing the military Jordan 4, the basic details I want to mention about this release firsthand and right off the bat. So you can see $210 retail. And this is also the case on the grade school pairs. The grade school pairs have gone from 150 to 160 and the adult pairs have gone from 200 to 210. So Nike, I don't know what your deal is, but stop it. Stop marking up the retails. I know what you're trying to do here. I see what you're doing here. They're limiting Jordan 4s more and more and they're making them pricier. Do you notice how rare or how often they don't drop Jordan 4s, but then how often they drop something like Nike Dunks? But yeah, you can see pairs are dropping on May 21st at 10 a.m. And this release is going to be heavily backdoored. I just want to mention this for many of those, uh, you know, sneaker stores and places like that, Champs, Finish Line, Foot Locker, stuff like that. Heavily backdoored. Just going to mention that. I've seen a lot of people uh, in my local area, Charlotte already. Uh, I mean, I'm in Charleston right now, but I've seen a lot of people in Charlotte that already are having crazy amounts of grade school pairs and adult pairs. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that came from the North Lake Mall. Aside from that right there, you guys can see a beautiful type of Panda Jordan 4, honestly, with kind of gray going around the toe box. I'm a huge fan of this one. And at first I didn't like the gray on the toe box, but then I noticed this kind of gray portion by the sole of the sneaker. So the gray in the toe box perfectly coordinates with that, along with the white in the sneaker coordinating with the toe box here. And then of course this back heel tab portion is, you know, going with this. Uh, and this is the suede material as well. So you can see they, they, they did well on the shoe. This is a really nice quality sneaker. And grade school pairs, don't forget, you can enter for grade school and adult pairs at the same time. That's a known thing. So make sure you're doing that very important i do not want you guys uh to you know mess up this drop and you know accidentally miss out on going for the grade school pairs because i'm gonna keep it real uh i'm gonna be investing more or less in the grade school pairs compared to the adult pairs i don't know what the deal is grade school jordan fours are are the move they're the move i mean just go look at how red thunder fours rose in grade school sizes compared uh to you know the adult sizes and those go look at how oreo four grade school uh, grade school sizes rose compared to Oreo adult sizes, go look at fire, like, you know what I mean? Like I can give plenty of examples and the Jordan four in grade school sizes consistently has like a hundred dollars in profit later down the line. So I'm just saying like, this is not one I'm going to be pushing over for now. I'm definitely, you know, when, when sneakers drop day comes, yeah, I'm going to be focusing on adult sizes. But if I take L's on everything on sneakers and on all foot sites and I don't get any pairs, you're going to see me in my story saying, hey, who has sizes, you know, 5 wide through 7 wide uh, in, in these? Because it's it's going to be the move, you know what I mean? But I'm probably not going to be buying directly after the drop, probably like a week after, uh, just to be safe. Uh, but yeah, honestly, this is not one I'd want to miss out on. I think just head, if you hold this one till Christmas, you'll be making some nice money. That's all I can say. That's pretty much going to be my plan. Buy bulk, cold till Christmas, sell some other pairs I have to make up for it. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of be break even again. And then this will, you know, grow my money for me kind of like that. So aside from that, basic things I wanted to mention, such a clean pair. I would love to have this in the collection. I mean, I'm a big fan of force. And uh, this is just another one where I, I already know these are going to be a huge problem. This is easily going to be a shoe that settles at like that 360 to like $400 range. No problem at all. And I mean, I'm pretty confident in that too, because think about what people have been saying. People have been talking about these for a while we thought they were going to drop in june ended up being in may nike pushed it up because they saw the demand i think i, I appreciate that because i really we we wanted these we wanted these i said but yeah also i have this notepad right here i haven't pulled up anything about it but yeah you can see a couple of the things i've mentioned like some tips and things so we'll kind of go over this so of course this release is a draw do not forget that is the main thing i want to mention this is a draw release so you'll have 10 minutes to enter i'm not going to enter all my accounts at once that's a terrible idea i'll enter some right at the start I'll enter most of my accounts at probably like 1003 1004 kind of like the mid portion of the draw and then i'll enter a couple at the end because i have hit on the draw with 10 seconds left because for the 
Union Jordan 4s. I entered with 10 seconds left to go, and uh, I cooked a pair of those, and that was on my phone. Probably my craziest. I'd, I'd say that's probably my craziest sneakers cop. 10 seconds left in the draw. Timer's literally going down 3, 2, 1. I enter, it goes through, and I hit the pair immediately. That was probably my craziest cop, to be honest. But yeah, you can see I got the drop page link, all this. I'll link it all down below, so don't worry about that. And uh, yeah, just kind of recommend, you know, those are some basic tips. And shout out Nike for marking up the retails. Not really, but you know what I mean. So also we can discuss reselling the shoe. Again, if you are someone that's interested in reselling the shoe, if you're like, yeah, you know, of course I am going to get my personal pair, but you know, I'm looking to make some money on the side to make up for the buy I had in the personal pair, you know, make it a little bit less expensive if you, if you understand what I'm saying. Because if I make some profit, you know, it'll offset it. You understand what I'm saying. But looking at prices right now, obviously for anybody asking me in my comment section, hey, Tristan, should I invest in this sneaker right now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some logic right here. All right, so, so let's think about it like this. N majority of the pairs have not dropped yet. The sneakers release has not happened yet. The, the foot site releases have not happened yet. So, do you think it's a good idea to buy pairs when majority of the stock has not dropped yet? No, simply, I would not do it yet. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So, if you're looking to invest in this sneaker, hey, you better not. You better not do that right now. If any of you have said, hey, I bought my investment already for these, I, I better get the sandal and smack you over the head like my mom would, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, no, do not invest in this right now. Do not do it. It is not, no, do not do it. Just wait, all right? Wait till all the pairs drop and then go and do it. My personal resale estimation, I think once the sneaker releases on drop day, I do think we will see some pairs below $300. I think we will see a like huge amount of sales in three days. Like easily, I think the StockX app will probably have a couple grand, maybe few thousand sales on this sneaker uh, in like a, a couple days. But I wouldn't recommend going to StockX to buy the shoe again. If you want to, it's fine. But I'm going to be personally sticking with GOAT and also my local connections because uh, I'd rather support locally than these apps. But yeah, my resale estimation is between $280 and $320. And I will put a plus on the $320 because honestly, prices could stay high. Demand is there. And that's what could kill the hold on the sneaker is if prices are already high on it. If people hold prices high on the sneaker at like $350, $400, like if, let's say these rise somehow like that, you know what I mean? Like if that was the case that happens like right after the release day, they rise $10, $20, this wouldn't be as good of a sneaker to hold. It wouldn't because people are clearly, you know, showing, hey, we're going to hold this high for now. This isn't dropping in price. But I don't think that's going to be the case. There'll be people that will drop the price on this one. So you'll be able to buy it cheaper. I'm pretty certain about that. We'll see most sizes probably even fall maybe down to 260 270 I mean, shoot, Oreos are down at 250 <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I need to, um, I, I mean, if they go down to there, I'm going to be buying big, you know, definitely. I mean, that's going to be an easy hold because this is a shoe that clearly is better than something like the Lightning 4s, better material, more height, less stock. It's it's good hold. As long as prices drop, which I'm pretty confident in their ability uh, to drop. So aside from that, a couple of the tips I want to mention, of course, let's kind of get into this notepad right here. So of course, you guys can see uh, discussing some raffles and other things about this sneaker release. Uh, the main thing I want to mention too about this one right here uh, when kind of discussing it, and I'm gonna move this over a little bit. There we go. But yeah, you guys can see some of the basic sneakers tips on this one. So you guys can see the uh, video for tips I have. There's actually a sneakers video I have out, which I'm gonna link down below. It kind of shows you a lot of basic tips. And if you're confused about like how to make multiple accounts, things like that on sneakers, uh, that this video that is also right here it'll be down in the description right there it'll say like sneakers video you can click on that so if you don't know how to make multiple accounts you're confused about how to use proxies and sneakers basically proxies prevent you know sneakers from seeing you're using multiple accounts at once you don't need proxies if you only have like five accounts not necessary like you can pretty much have five accounts on one wi-fi network Think about it like that. But yeah, that's a basic tip. So check that video down below, this one right here. If you need any tips on sneakers, it'll be down in the description, really showing you how to make multiple accounts on all that. And I'm also, excuse me, I'm getting like the hiccups mid video. That's like not what I want. But yeah, basically, I also have this video down below, some raffles. So if you want to check this out down below, I'm going to be linking a few places where some raffles may potentially happen for the military Jordan 4. Think about it like that, though, because it's always like a second chance. And uh, APB may have a raffle, too. So I'm going to link this one down below, too. Make sure you check that link. APB, love that place. They may have a raffle, too, for it online uh, and in stores. So again, don't forget some of these places and stores you can go to. Like, check your local area. Check your skate shops. You know, like, make sure you're doing that. Because they, random, at random, sometimes drop pairs like this. Uh, and, you know, have lineup releases for certain sneakers. So I don't want y'all missing up or, you know, missing out on that. And, of course, another great piece of advice I have right here. I really like this one right here. Of course, uh, if you're in a Discord chat, be on your Shopify monitor all day. 
heavily because there's going to be some random places on Shopify that will have these sitting for like a minute or two and then they'll sell out. But, you know, it's going to be because people aren't like paying attention and that's a great opportunity for a manual user. And of course, uh, you know, some of the best foot sites, JD Sports, DTLR and Dix for manual users. Don't forget about that. And of course, you can try. Don't forget about those local entries you always have around you, like at those foot lockers, champs foot action, finish line, places like that, you know, with your FLX points, you can always go and enter, you know, there. So make sure, of course, uh, you're getting entered up at your local places. It's always worth a shot building those points. I mean, that system's a bit different now, but you know, having some points helps like at least a couple hundred thousand points uh, on FLX. It's probably the right move, you know, so if you're like a consistent shopper, at foot, if you're, if you're a consistent shopper at Foot Locker Champs, those places, and you don't have an FLX account, you're missing out on a great opportunity to be a great opportunity to be cooking some pairs. Excuse me. All right, that's everything I need to mention right there about this video. All this info will be down below. Uh, all these links that you guys see, if you're confused about any of it, it'll be there so you guys can get some help for this release uh, or you know, see some other places, raffles and other foot sites that'll be dropping this release. Personally, I'm gonna be staying glued to the Shopify monitor and I'm gonna be praying for the, praying to the sneakers gods. I'm just getting my accounts prepped and ready. I got a lot of things to do, of course. If, you're, if, you're, if your accounts have not been working, don't forget, just change the account email. You can do that. You can edit the email that an account's under. So if it's not working, edit the email or if you're using 10 accounts get some proxies bp proxy switcher lifesaver i'll talk about it in that sneakers video in the description so that's it really been talking for enough now so if you want to check my instagrams any of that i'm eventually going to get the post change up the profile photo we're, we're going to get the instagram scaled things like that i'm just trying to work on my reselling and youtube right now a couple things like that so uh you know we're not necessarily focusing as heavily on uh you know i guess this but I haven't really focused on Instagram ever really. I, you can see I rarely post. I used to post more, but then I stopped. But we'll eventually get something up, so don't worry about that. But I'm sure you guys are very worried and concerned. But yeah, subscribe, like. Like goes like 300 likes. I'd appreciate it. And uh, hopefully these sneakers will do well. Well, <laughs> that's no doubt. This is 100% a go for. Like, if you're confused about, oh, maybe should I go for this release? Should I not? No, you should 110% go for it. Any size, any size will be profitable. Any, any except for maybe some of those preschool ones, but there'll, there'll be some slight profit, very slight profit, but I'm, I'm gonna be focusing on grade school and adult. Maybe you can go for a toddler size, like a three Y. I'm saying it's a risk, but it's up to you. So that's it. I ended that screen recording. I'm Tristan, much love guys, and hopefully I will catch you in the next video, yeah? No? Damn, all right. Well, it didn't have to be like that. <laughs> I'll see ya, peace.